Hey, there you are. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. So we're going to start off part two here, and we're going to be talking about some economic issues. See, the economy right now in Dominica is very poor. And I know right away, I know what you're thinking. No! Please, Mr. World Traveler, don't give us this bad news. We don't want to hear it. Can't you just sugarcoat things and tell us everything is okay? But I'm not going to do that here. If you want that kind of coverage over the world, turn on the evening news tonight. They'll give you what you're looking for. Because here, John Palmer, world traveler slash conqueror, we're just going to be telling it like it is here. So let's get into this economy. Why is the Dominican economy struggling? Well, the answer to that is very simple. The Dominican economy is predicated on two things, and really only two things, bananas and tourism. Bananas and tourism. So what do these industries need in order to survive and ultimately thrive? Well, you need ships, right? You need ships that can come to and from the island. So you have banana ships loaded with bananas sailing off to the world delivering bananas. For tourism, you've got, you know, your Caribbean cruise ships and they bring visitors to the island and help out the economy that way. But lately, there's a problem. And the problem has to do with one of the neighboring islands of Dominica. See, this island is getting in the way. And when I say this island is getting in the way, I literally mean it is getting in the way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is the map of Dominica that we saw before. Nice island, just chilling in the water, minding its own business. But let's look at what happens when we zoom out a little bit. Let's see what we find. Whoa. Cheerios Island. Absolutely outrageous. But let me tell you a little bit about Cheerios Island. Let me give you the scoop on it. This is a brand new island in the Caribbean Sea. This is a man-made island created by the Cheerios Corporation. This island exists with the sole purpose of promoting the sale and consumption of, you guessed it, Cheerios. And you know what? I gotta say, when I first heard about this, I like the concept of Cheerios Island. I think it's a terrific idea. I mean, what better way to make a name for your cereal? What better way to create a little buzz than to construct an entire tropical island that is in the very shape of the cereal itself? I mean, it uh, worked for Puerto Rico. You know, and I've even heard that the sands of the beaches on Cheerios Island, the sand is made up of that dust that you find at the bottom of the cereal bag. But sadly, guys, Cheerios Island, it's really just one big scam. Here's how they sell you on it. Hey, everybody, come to Cheerios Island. Stay at our fine resorts. Walk on our beautiful beaches. And while you're at it, you can have all of the free complimentary Cheerios that you that your heart desires. Wow. You think to yourself, that's uh that sounds like a pretty sweet deal. I don't know where I'm gonna find a vacation package that offers something like that. But here's the catch. Let's say for instance you're on your honeymoon and you decide to go to Cheerios Island and you're sitting by the pool with your new wife and uh, there's a waiter. The waiter comes and, you know, he brings you some of your free Cheerios. 
And you're like, nice. But, but waiter, uh, I like some milk with my Cheerios. And the waiter says, of course, we have milk. Waiter comes back, brings you a glass of milk, sets the milk on the table, and the waiter says to you, that'll be $10. And you're like, what? $10 for one glass of milk? This is ridiculous. So as you can see, uh, the milk is very expensive on Cheerios Island. I'm not even going to tell you about the mini bar milk. I'm not even going to tell you about the milk in the mini bar in the hotel room. I mean, unless your name is uh, Mark Cuban or Jimmy Buffett, uh, you're not going to be having any part in that mini bar milk. I'll tell you that. But let's get back to business here. The biggest problem on Cheerios Island isn't the gouging of milk. The biggest issue we have with Cheerios Island is they constructed this island, they made this big Cheerio in the sea, and they completely trapped a sovereign nation inside of it. I mean, come on. I mean, just look at it there. Poor Dominica. Any trade by sea has been brought to a complete halt. So some of you are probably wondering now if Dominica can't engage in any type of importing or exporting, what are they doing with all those dang bananas? Well, I think I have something very interesting to share with you guys. And it might just answer that very question. Let me show you. Take a look at this. Banana Nut Cheerios. This is a new line that Cheerios has just introduced into the marketplace. Now let's take a look at this. Flavored with real banana and natural banana flavor. But let's examine this a little more closely. First part, flavored with real banana. I understand that. I'm good with that, I like it. But the second part's a little more confusing. And natural banana flavor. But what does that mean? Because when natural banana flavor, I mean, couldn't you only derive that from one place and that would be a real banana? But obviously that's not what they're talking about here. Otherwise, they just would say Cheerios. Flavored with real bananas, bro. Have a bowl, enjoy. But that's not what they did. They included this part about natural banana flavor. What does this flavor mean? I don't know. But why don't we just focus on this part here? Real banana. This is what Cheerios is excited about. Bigger font. Bold, underlined it. Cheerios is excited about these real bananas. Where'd they get them though? Now we're starting to put now we're starting to put the pieces to this puzzle together. I don't think it takes a genius, I don't think it takes a detective to understand what's going on here. Clearly, Dominica, they haven't been able to export their bananas. So they have this tremendous surplus of bananas right now. They're desperate to sell them, and there's really only one buyer, and that is Cheerios Island. So you know what they're doing. Cheerios is probably buying up all these bananas, pennies on the dollar to what the bananas would actually be worth on the, on the world market. They took the bananas. They flavored Cheerios with them, and now they're going out and selling them, making billions of more dollars for the Cheerios Corporation. That's what corporations do, guys. That's why we don't like them, right? So obviously something needs to be done here. It's not right. Dominica, 
deserves to trade. They, they deserve to be back in the world trade game, export their bananas to everybody. There have been a few proposed solutions to this, and we're going to take a look at one of those proposed solutions, and that is that a waterway or a canal is built through Cheerios Island. Let's take a look at that. So this proposal was brought to the board of directors at the Cheerios Corporation, and their response was, nah, well, we're not going to do that. The whole point of the island is to be in the shape of a Cheerio. If we do this, technically it's just not the shape of a Cheerio anymore. It's only a partial Cheerio. You know, when we have people flying over our island and they're looking down on it, we want them thinking about the Cheerios brand. If it's with the canal, people are going to fly over and they might not know what it is. They might think it's an advertisement for keychain rings. And that's not what we want here at Cheerios. Now look, guys. Under normal circumstances, I, I would 100% agree with the Cheerios Corporation on this one. If this was my island, if this was my money at stake to build the island, I would 100% need full 360 circumference coverage. Um, otherwise, I, I would have no interest in it. So I totally understand where Cheerios is coming from. However, I would also never build this island around an already an existing island. Um, to me, it's just completely uh, disrespectful to the island of Dominica. Um, you know, that's just not how I roll. Um, I wasn't raised that way. So this is something that, you know, I'm pretty upset about. And I, I think Cheerios absolutely has to build this canal. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Here's my message to you, Cheerios. Until you agree to build this canal, I am going to decrease my consumption of your product by 25%. And not only am I going to decrease my consumption of Cheerios by 25%, I am going to replace that 25% by eating your fiercest rival in the Cheerio game, and that is Wheaties. I've never had Wheaties before. I highly doubt that I'll enjoy Wheaties, but this has become a cause that is very important to me. and. Um, I'm really willing to do whatever it takes, and this is where I'm going to start. So I hope everybody watching this joins in with me. Let's make our voice heard, and let's really try to initiate some really good change in the world. Um, so this wraps up part two. Now, we are going to go to a part three. This is going to be the final part. And this is important to me because I really wanted to end this presentation on a positive note. And part three is going to be about something very positive. Did you guys know that Dominica was the first Caribbean island to elect a female prime minister? It's true, and that's what part three is going to be all about. So. If, if your thing is positivity, if you're into social progressiveness, if you're a fan of women's rights, um, I think you're going to really enjoy part three. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Um, so thank you for watching.